Hello out there, Internet Horde. Zombie Phil here, back with another episode of State of... Not State of Decay, Seven Days to Die. Um, just uh, going to test out the Horde base just a little bit here. And uh, thought that this Wandering Horde that's just come through would be a pretty good way of testing it. Let's just uh, get those zombies a little riled up. Dean's made the first successful jump. Big fella can uh, go for a bit of a dive there. down and I think with how effective this has been so far I can uh... could you not down there please okay make it so I'm not gonna blow away my own base by taking his head off a uh, couple more shotgun rounds yep that seemed fairly effective very little damage to the base overall Oh, don't upgrade it. No cobblestone. Um, I did have a theory about what I wanted to do with these legs a little bit. Definitely need to get a better uh, sight on this thing. Something in the uh, reflex sight style, I think. Or a scope. Two times scope would be nice. I've got an eight times, but uh, that's just a little overkill for what I've uh, got right now, or need. The crosshairs are just a little too tight to uh, see through clearly, though. Don't need any of that. This is more of a backup thing, just in case I can't beat something up at a club. Let's get uh, over to this quest. <laughs> Okay, stopped and grabbed some uh, mailboxes on the way over, and let's grab this one as well. Trigger the quest, and then grab it again. Sneaky postman came right in behind me there. Um, what I grabbed? Scrapping. Batter up volume 3 power attacks uh, to the legs, slow enemies. I'm probably not normally going to swing at zombie legs over zombie heads. And bows do 10% more damage at night. Not bad if I want to do a restore power. Okay, I don't think I brought anything with me. No, um, let's go and check the garage first, I think. Loot bag here. Tier 5 legs, I think they're better than what I'm wearing. They are. Now, I would have made up uh, some of the pocket mods, but I am lagging very far behind on duct tape and water. Um, I do need to look at getting some uh, of the dew collector mods, the water purifiers from the trader. Let's just loot up here. Not get this little ammo pile up here. Or lockpicks. And I could wrench that for iron, I'm not going to. Okay, they're all down. 
the little under the stairs uh, toilet there. As always, grab chairs for wood. Could lunk the entire pool table home with me because I do have the uh, GNS mod installed. But I don't think I'm going to. Let's just snipe Glenn here. Who dropped me a loot bag? Very nice. Thank you, Glenn. And uh, I'll just pop your twin to death. More books, always welcome. As is the food. Very nice. Is there anything on the other side of that? Ah, yep, a wall. Okay, I guess we're going up now. Oh, that was a big lag spike. room with the zombie. He was playing with his snake when he died. I will definitely take that glue. Uh, let's clear up some of this inventory slots. Reading the books. But that says to go that way, so I'll go this way first. Still need to clear up some of this inventory space. I'll scrap the wrench. Um, I'll eat that. Scrap you, scrap you. Scrap that to lead, because I already have some lead. I don't need the sand at the moment. Definitely not going anywhere near uh, crafting concrete. Take the food and the uh, water. You know what? Don't really need that. Courier satchel. <sighs> Got a lock safe there. Um, did I bring any lock picks with me? I do actually have some back at the base, I think. I think I dumped them in a chest and forgot to uh, bring them with. Um, that is talk to trader, so we might actually be clear on zombies. Let me see if a one lockpick gets me in here. And in on the first try. Lovely. Um, I'll actually hold on to those because they'll sell well once I uh, mod them.
still hearing zombies. I guess this was a um, fetch, not a fetch and clear. Let's take out Dean there. Let's shoot Karen in the butt. And I think we've got an empty here. Karen there. Sorry, that wasn't Karen, that was Lois. They're all down. Let me grab my arrows back if I can. Okay. Hammer Pile has a retractable stock mod and some bullet tips. That's pretty handy. The Pop and Pills crate has... Recog, bandage, blood bag. Uh, some of that's all right. Some of that's not all that handy. Um, don't really need the rotten sandwich. Don't need the rotten flesh yet. And in the end loot, we have Sniper Volume 5. Zooming takes 15% less stamina. There's that reflex sight that I want. I've got cloth legs on at the moment, so I don't know about these. Um, don't really need the corn seeds at the moment. Uh, we'll eat the can of sham. And I'll eat the cat food. Okay, let's see if there's anything else here. No little sneaky stashes or anything. Doesn't look like it. Okay, let's uh, get out of here if we can. Just had to stop and point out, this is probably the poshest uh, road I think I've ever seen in the game in my life. There's mansion, 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 and two very large houses down there. And I think there is actually another uh, big house or mansion down past these two. So there's crazy uh, rich little lane here. It's a shame none of them survived the zombie apocalypse. Um, okay, so from their mailboxes as well, Fireman's Almanac, Shotgun Messiah number three, um, hits within three meters, have a higher chance of dismemberment, pretty nice. 20% um, better chance to ragdoll with power attacks, also very nice, and tactical warfare. Let's just sort that out there. So you trade a Hugh here. I lost the bet on this one. Here's some money. Um, the fire axe uh, modification. Hmm, that's actually really nice. I do like that uh, mod, especially when you combine it with the wood splitter mod. I think I'll take that. Jobs. Got infested clear that's there, or the infested clear technically has uh, more uh, more value to it. Yeah, let's drop off and then go and check out Pete's Hidey Hole or whatever it was called. And there we have a chain mod. Nice, so I don't even have to make one. Let's get that straight on the bat. And also just repair the club while I'm at it. What the hell did my bike just go? There. I think I remember this place. Ooh, duct tape, very nice. Yep, that's a trap. We got a tools digester and some cement there. Um, yeah, so you step on that and look, you go falling down. Let's reset. This is an infestation, so I'm going to have to be a little careful of uh, extra zombies. I don't think they'd drop a uh, rat on me, but they might have some ferals in here. With the bird's nest. Oh, no, uh, no feathers. 
So it used to be, yep, there was a ladder here. And there's a copper at the bottom of that. So let's uh, get back up here, crouch, switch to the bow, and just miss his head by a tiny little bit. Come on, hit him. I don't want to have to deal with the cop. Yeah, I hadn't seen the XP pop. I have now. Oh, there's another copper down there. And another copper. Okay, I think that's all the cops. There we go. Very dark and very laggy down here. 13 frames, what the hell is going on down here? Oh. We did have a feral. Don't know how they actually got up. Oh, right there. Okay, so we do still have somebody making their way up here. It's a big fella as well. Ah, I keep forgetting that. I don't need to reload at one shot, Phil. Okay, big fella's down. And that's quest complete. Right, let's loot this place up. Cooking in some food. Arrows. Ah, I'm on fire. I hate these little campfires, they're so hard to actually see. More food. Ah, oh, I already looted that one. Okay. The end loot has a pipe shotgun, a bandage, and a digger mod. Nice. Springs and nails. Pants, I can't remember if I'm still wearing... Oh, I've got shorts on. The shorts are better heat resistance. Um, whereas the jeans are actually better all around, um, actually, I'll wear the jeans. Got somebody upstairs, check this, and then pop out and wrench it for the iron and steel. And then take all of the ammo out of it. Uh, now I'm gonna duck around over here because there are mushrooms to be picked. Guess that zombie's probably gonna spend the rest of their lives down here in the water because I'm leaving. Thankfully the cop did not break any of that ladder. Okay, Hugh. What's my reward? Ooh, lucky looter. Find more ammunition in loot. I will definitely take that. Good jobs. They're clear zombies, I think. Only uh, noon, so let's get out there and uh, do that one as well. The one that was uh, right across the road. I have already checked that mailbox. Quickly check the garage. Ah, 
Hey there, Lift. Feel about sleeping there, buddy. Oh, he was nice enough to drop a loot bag as well. Probably should have uh, emptied out my inventory. Don't really need the rotten flesh anyway. And I actually do want some of that stuff. I'm just going to scrap what I don't need here and eat everything else. I thought that zombie would have come for me just then. Um, let's chuck on the grave digger there. That one there. Uh, you know what? Oh, actually, no, I will just throw that because it will just make me thirsty. Don't really need that or that. The yucca fruit I will keep for the moment. Okay, let's get this uh, quest started. Couple of pairs of looting goggles. I won't use them, there's no point. I don't like them, they don't give enough of a bonus. Um, my only preferred uh, eyewear that I actually wear over all others, even if I'm going into a specific tree, is the intellect goggles because they just they give the best benefits. Faster crafting times, um, intellect, so a full stat, and uh, they give you uh, increased experience. So definitely take the glue. Okay, now I think I have to follow the pipe to find the shut-off valve, which is somewhere here. There it is. I grabbed those books, didn't I? I didn't grab the bin. PG there dropped a uh, loot bag for me. It's very nice of her. I'm not going to ask where she was keeping it. She definitely doesn't have any pockets. Um, eat the food, so I'm not going to hold on to it. The end loot here. Ooh, tier 6 leggings and Hunter's uh, Journal Volume 1. That's the uh, Bears volume, so that's one of the better ones out of all of them. Uh, let's switch you out. Then uh, I could sell it, but I'm just going to scrap it. And then chuck that and that on there. So they give me some extra uh, legs as well. Uh, sorry, extra pockets, I mean. Legs. Yes. They'll give me extra legs. That's exactly how that works. Uh, let's check this shotgun messiah box. Tactical warfare and some explosives, pipe bombs. The Mo Power Box, Tech Planet, Wiring, and Batten Parts that I'll sell. Ammo. Um, I actually do want some of these. I'm gonna have to make space for them though. Don't need one bone. Don't need the sand. But I definitely like these weapon posters. I think that is pretty much the it for this POI. On the tank poster as well, damn it. Springs are valuable, but oh well. Well, I lost the bet on this one. Here's some money. Right, um, a couple of handy things there. The 762 ammo, the claw hammer, the antibiotics. I don't really care for the iron spear or the uh, mod, but um before I do that, 
I'm going to check your inventory just quickly and sell you these lucky goggles. Even though I could make more money by doing a big sell off. Um, Time to move on. I don't he also has a baseball bat. See about you in the wasteland. Um, You're almost okay in my book. I kind of want the 762 ammo because I am. I do only have 96 rounds of it. I've got plenty of uh, 9 mil ammo now though. But uh, so let's. Even though I would really like the claw hammer for repairs, I think I can make my own. But so yeah, I'm gonna grab that. I'm gonna check your inventory as well. Could actually buy that. Holy mackerel. It is a tier 5 AK, and I'm probably still a fair way off that. I know it's a different AK than the one that I've got here, but uh, if you just look at the stat difference. So the one I have does 9.1 less. Fires slightly quicker, but I don't really care about that because I tend to uh, single shot with the uh, AKs anyway. And um, it's less durable. Um, he's got no real books that I care about. Don't care too much for the needle and thread book here. He does have high power with 7.62, but it's too expensive to buy. Got some lanterns. Lanterns would be handy. Um, what can I sell you here, buddy? Uh, I'm going to sell you the batten parts that I'm holding. And... Wow, I just don't have a lot of space for anything. It does also have a battery bank as well. Thankfully the lanterns don't actually require power. Um, did you also have, I think, no, I've got steel club parts. You have a baseball bat. You just straight up have a tier two baseball bat. What's even worse is I think I can actually afford, yes, I can. Well, that's okay, all let's, you're gonna buy. I'll let let's you quickly just go and, out. um, check his vending machine. Eye candy, I believe. No, that's the looting one. It's sugar butts is the, the one for the thing. Um, he does have an awesome source. And I would be spending more money than that's worth. So let's go and grab some stuff to sell and buy. Uh, my bike's out the front, Phil. Let's grab that awesome source. Like <clears throat> that. Cool point, nice. And I want... That actually didn't net me that much coin. Interesting. Um, anyway, it has reduced the cost of this and this. Because um, that's just straight upgrades on what I already have. Um, don't have enough of that one. And I do want one of those. I'm pretty sure I saw some duct tape here. Nope. Maybe it was glue. Nope. About water. It does just have four waters. Yeah. Those damn things are selling like hotcakes. Okay, so the awesome source was more just to get the discount on the uh, AK and the baseball bat, which definitely did save me more than 1500 worth, so that's good. Let's come over here and quickly just set those up. Definitely scrap that one now. That one, which should give me the machine gun part back. That's good. Um, now, let's see what other mods I have here. 
I don't think the baseball bat will be able to have too many extra mods, um, but I might be able to pull something off one of my tools if it does. I uh, definitely want either the reflex or the retractable stock, depending on how many mod slots, and or the full auto, the flashlight, not the suppressor. Right. Modify you. You do have three, and I'm going to go with the magazine, the reflex, and what I might do for Horde Knight if I don't get a helmet light before then is I'll just switch to that. But for now, I will go the... The retractable stock, I think. And then for the baseball bat, it has two mods, that's perfect. And what I could do for the moment is just chuck a flashlight on there for when I'm in POIs. Over to here, we want to make a dew collector. Perfect. I want to reload the AK. I actually like the uh, tactical side on this thing. It actually looks really good. Um, I should have actually checked what it looks like on the other one, but I'm not going to waste the materials to make another one of... Uh, I think it was... Yeah, this one, the AK-47S. Um, I mean, it would only really waste uh, two two duct tapes, but that's two duct tapes that I could be using on something else. And for the moment, this has uh, uh, more than enough. Oh, that's actually got the um, retractable stock actually sitting sideways. That's pretty cool. Uh, I kind of wish it wasn't there because it looks a little, little bulky, but oh well. Um, the other thing I can check out, though, is I believe you can still put an eight times scope on this thing. No, you can't put the 8 times scope on this one. Oh well. Let's reload her. She should hold 45 rounds. Lovely. Got this one for the... Just in case moments. And then my baseball bat, which should do a crazy amount of damage, especially for the Horde Knight, which is coming up. Don't have an exceptionally large amount of ammo. Hopefully Trader has a... Uh, infestation quest or two for me tomorrow. Um, while I think about it, throw that in there and just for the moment. Throw that up there. I could throw the other ones up as well. And what I might do is once I've upgraded this uh, little base, I might actually do that. Um, this is on the wrong side, so this is the closer side, as you can see here. So I won't be able to put posters on this wall, which is a bit of a shame. Um, I didn't really leave myself enough space there. If I had a higher roof, I could have put it above the window as well. But that's uh, much of a muchness. Anyway, it's almost that time of the day anyway, so we will just have a quick peek at the sunset while it's going down. Um, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. If you're enjoying what you're seeing, hit a like on the video. If you want to come back and see more, remember to subscribe to my channel and come and get your zombie fill. I'll see you then. Bye.